Today I'm back with Coach Shady and we're going to talk about the two-handed release and some drills that you can do to perfect your release as a two-hander. Exactly, Mike. Two-handed bowling today, it's you know the new young players, they're going into two-handed. It's important that we all know the, the magic happens at the release with the two-handers, but how do I create some more versatility? And with some of that versatility at the release, how do I, how do I get good body position? So we're going to show you three simple drills today to really get better at those two areas. All right, well, let's head out to the lanes and let's take a look. I'm here today with team member backstage bowling, Matt Farber. And today it's all gonna be about two-handed release and the finished position. We wanna talk about creating some versatility. The magic with two-handers happens at the bottom there's so much energy that's developed and that's where all the magic happens. However, you've got to create some versatility, create some different ball shapes down the lane. And with that, you've got to be in a really good finish position. So we're going to go through three drills today, a fall line drill, a one step and a three step. And Matt's going to demonstrate those on how to create some versatility and good body position at the finish. So I've got Matt in a finish release position, and this is a great drill to create not only the proper hand position, notice how Matt's elbow is inside the wrist, hand is in the center of the bowling ball, it's underneath the equator, but he's also going to, when he swings a little bit, he's going to work on not only collapsing this way, but he's going to create some different motions with his hand, a little bit around it, and then collapse, create some versatility with that re release, now Matt's gonna do this, he's gonna swing it a couple times and just go through it and really maintain good balance. Now the progression drill from the fall line release drill is gonna go into a one-step drill. Very similar to a one-handed one-step. What Matt's gonna do is when he gets set up, his right step's gonna be pointed a little bit more toward the wall. It's a little bit different than a one-hander and everything else is the same. He's going to create the same type of versatility with his hand at the bottom, create those different axis rotation angles, and then he's really going to work on his finish. Really difficult for two-handers to keep that back trail foot on the approach, but that's something you should work on just so you have good balance at the line. So Matt's going to demonstrate a one-step approach. Now the last drill Matt's going to do is a three-step drill. It's a progression drill. Again, we're going fall line release drill, one-step drill, and the three-step drill. He's going to be three, three and a half feet from the fall line. He's going to get into a setup position, swing the ball. As soon as it starts on his downward motion, he'll take his non-ball side, left, right slide, and again, work on body position, work on all those different releases, really try to maintain balance. Let's see what it looks like. Those three drills, the foul line, the one-step, three-step, two-handers, go work on these, create some different ball motions, create good proper balance at the finish position, and you can go out and have lots of success. Really good drills today uh, with Matt, our two-hander. Uh, I, you know, we've done the one and the three-step drills before in the past, and I, I really never thought about how a two-hander needs to do those as well. Very similar to a one-hander. They can do a lot of the drills, the traditional drills, but today it was all about, as you saw Matt, we put him into a foul line drill, kind of got his hand, his elbow inside his wrist, got his hand in that two-handed position. And then it's, how do I shape the ball differently down the lane because they, they've got the ability to really get a lot of axe rotation, to get very little when they collapse. And then we take that and we use a progression drill. We go from the foul line drill, just like a one-hander, into a one-handed or a one-step drill, and then from the one-step into a three-step drill. And Matt, with good body position, because it's, it's more about just release, how do I get balanced at the line and then create that versatility? Go out, work on these three drills, especially our young players, 
and you can become a really good player as a two-hander. That's right. You got to correct and get everything in a perfect position, whether you're a two-hander or a one-hander, go out, practice these drills, and you will get better at bowling. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our video today. Hopefully you learned something you can apply to your game. Do us a favor, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Also, if you'd like to get backstage access to our coaches, you can join our online community at backstagebowling.com. Use the coupon code SAVE20 to save $20 off an annual subscription. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.